Hey everyone, here's our July 8th, uh, 2022 pumpkin patch update. Um, we've had a lot of rain over the last four or five days. I think we got almost seven inches of rain over the course of two days. So I haven't really been able to even get out in the patch uh, with this clay soil. It just makes a mess of everything. Um, so I've been kind of just inspecting from afar, but you can see I'm actually getting a lot of uh, leaf damage. Um, I think it's all from cucumber beetles. Um, this is my kind of number one plant here and uh, on both sides of it are just getting annihilated uh, with, uh, with cucumber beetles. Um, and if I do walk out here and I, if I look into some of these flowers, you can see um, the, the beetles are, are active in them. Um, one thing I want to say though is I did pollinate um, what I'm hoping is the keeper pumpkin here on this plant. I pollinated on July 2nd, so last Sunday. So that's about a uh, five day old pumpkin right there. Um, but you can see overall this plant has grown about, well, the, the length of the plant was there on, uh, on last Sunday. And over the course of five days it's grown almost three and a half, four feet long uh, and wide. Uh, you can see some of my previous markers here and the, these, um, these secondaries are just exploding in growth. I'm thinking I wasn't watering them enough um, before that. But unfortunately you can see some of these leaves have just been annihilated um, by the cucumber beetle. So I went and got some bifenthren today that I'm hoping will uh, will take care of them. And if I look into some of these plants here, um, you can probably still see, yeah, you can see right there is a, a little uh, cucumber beetle. So that is what is uh, what I believe is killing um, these leaves. I believe they're coming out at night though because I never see them on the leaves during the day. And maybe one of you guys can help me with that. But I did spray this with um, imachloroprid already twice um, and I also sprayed it with oh one other um, one other item I think it's permethrin but it didn't seem to uh, to fix this and you can kind of see all the way down through on the side of the plant has been eaten pretty bad unfortunately so I'm hoping that I can spray it and uh, and get this new growth to come back but uh, time will tell. So, so far there have been another, a uh, few other pumpkins that have been set on this uh, plant, but I plan to cut all those off and hopefully just keep this one here. So, so far, um, at least I got a pumpkin to keep. I'm hoping I can get the plant looking better, but it's, and total size wise is, it's, it's pretty huge now. I mean, we're probably, oh, 25 feet wide by um, probably a good 25 to 28 feet long here. So pretty good um, overall. If we go to over to some more other plants, uh, this one again has, has really exploded in growth. You can see all the tips here have just shot out over the last few days, um, as has the, the end here. So again, I pollinated that pumpkin there last uh, Saturday, I believe. Um, and uh, all of this growth has happened since last Saturday. So pretty amazing. I did end up cutting one of the pumpkins off this um, because it was it was actually way back in the middle and it was uh, starting to prop the vine up really bad. And I wasn't going to keep that one anyhow. I'm going to keep uh, one of these two here. I haven't decided yet. So anyway, moving on to some other pumpkins. Um, most of these here have kind of gotten out of control and I haven't been able to keep up with um, vine bearing or pollinating or anything. Um, but you can see that the, the actual, there's a lot less vine damage and leaf damage on these plants for some reason. I'm not sure what the cause is, but you can kind of see, I do have one pumpkin uh, growing down in there, uh, probably about the size of a small kid's basketball. And then coming over to this plant here, I do have a couple pumpkins set on this. Um, there's one pretty good size one down in there. That's probably the size of a, oh, a regulation uh, basketball or so. It's kind of hard to tell in a video, but pretty good sized pumpkin there. Um, Otherwise, my other kind of small mounds are doing good. They're starting to explode with, with growth. I'm hoping they take off. And these other two plants, I really haven't done any maintenance to them, but they are growing well. And, and believe it or not, in terms of vine health and leaf health, these are some of the better ones that I have. Um, there's really not a lot of uh, bug damage. Uh, I have a couple pumpkins set on them, but I'm really not going to maintain them so much. I'm just going to kind of let them go and see what they will produce. Um, probably grow, I don't know, five to ten pumpkins per plant here. We'll see what happens. So... The rest of the patch doing okay, but uh, you can start to see, finally I'm getting some of these pumpkins to pop up as we go over through here. Um, but some of them have gotten eaten really bad. You can kind of see if I go up to this, just look at the vine, look at the leaf damage on that. Again, I think it's all from cucumber beetles. Actually, you can see one on it right there now. So I um, believe that's the cause. I'm gonna have to come out and spray all these with that by Fenthron and see if I can try to salvage some of them. Uh, I didn't have any of this bug problem last year, but they say once you uh, once you grow pumpkins on a plot once, um, it's easy to get bugs again. Here's one that they actually just completely annihilated. Uh, didn't even have a chance to, to root out. So anyway, 
I'm going to spray hopefully maybe tonight or tomorrow and uh, maybe try to recover some of the, uh, the progress we've made here. So overall, that's the update. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.